Orion in the Dark is a new DreamWorks animated film that hits Netflix. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. The thing Orion fears the most is the dark. When the embodiment of his worst fears pays a visit, dark whisks Orion away on a roller coaster ride around the world to prove there is nothing to be afraid of at night. So this is written by Charlie Kaufman who has written some very interesting movies and when I heard that Charlie Coffin was going to be writing Orion in the Dark, I didn't know what to expect from this movie. Just that alone could separate it from other DreamWorks animated movies. This is a very intriguing film. It really looks at a child's worst nightmare, their worst fear, and for a lot of kids, it's the dark. We have this young boy, Orion, voiced by Jacob Tremblay, who is afraid of a lot of things. The good first 15 minutes really just kind of dives deep into what he's afraid of, but his biggest fear is dark. And then we get this embodiment of dark, voiced by Paul Walter Hauser. They go on this journey to realize that there's not much to be afraid of at nighttime, and they form this relationship, and they really start to pinpoint this young boy's fears this is a very deep animated movie for especially dreamworks it feels like it would fit more alongside pixar looking at the deeper themes of what is he really afraid of what is he afraid of at nighttime and what is causing these fears and looking more at things that happen at night and not judging a book by its cover things like that is themes that um dreamworks typically doesn't really kind of dive deep into some of their movies are very childish some of them are really good but for the most part there's not a lot of movies in dreamworks animation catalog that feel like they are deep movies and so i was honestly surprised with this movie and the territory that they went into we have orion and the embodiment of dark that form this relationship and you feel like a genuine connection is growing amongst the two as he starts to realize there's not a lot to be afraid of at nighttime. And the animation for this movie is very different from your typical DreamWorks animation film. It feels very cartoony, but really nicely animated, especially dark. You don't really get to see like the full on version of dark for most of the film. I like how they positioned him in this movie. And when they introduced him in the beginning, he was like lurking in the background and you got to see just like his eyes and the very faint outline of this character. It starts this motion of Orion's fears of dark as um, him being completely dark. And then as the film progresses, as he becomes more accepting of dark, the character starts to become a little more outlined and a little lighter and you can see more of that character naturally grow throughout this movie the voice acting is really good and here paul walter hauser brings this comfort to dark he tries to be this character that this this young boy can accept and love to be around he wishes that people weren't so afraid of him and wish that they would think different of him and he brings this emotional level to this character that honestly was one of the highlights of this movie. So this movie does have a lot of deep themes to it and it's successful within that, looking at your fears and unpacking all of that and this relationship between Orion and Dark, which should be the biggest point of the movie. But since Dark takes Orion on its adventure, they start to look at other things that happen at nighttime and embodiments of them. We also have the embodiment of sweet dreams and light and sleep and insomnia and quiet and unexplained noises. And each of those characters have a storyline in development for them as well. And then it starts to play into Orion and Dark's relationship and uh, plot points that start to develop for these characters that's when it becomes a little bit chaotic and messy kind of towards the middle half of the film 
as we kind of go in more of an adventure, looking at quiet and unexplained noises and sweet dreams, and you have to have a moment for them to shine, and then you have to have a moment for them to kind of have a part in the storyline, and that's when the film kind of loses its balance. You feel like there's a lot going on when you started off very strongly with just this relationship between Orion and Dark and exploring all of his fears, then you start to look at more things that happen at night and how it affects people's sleep and their fears around nighttime. And since it becomes a little more messy, it starts to lose some of its focus on Orion and Dark's relationship and becomes just more of this bigger film where the beginning felt very small and personal for Orion. It just goes on this bigger grand adventure that starts to kind of make their relationship feel smaller than it was in the beginning nonetheless orion in the dark i think is a very impressive dreamworks animated film it's a film that does provide this discussion on what is your fear what are you exactly afraid of and how you can overcome it that's exactly what happens to orion in here as he spends more time with dark and they develop this relationship that's very heartwarming i just wish they would have a little less focus on the other things that happen at night like sweet dreams and unexplained noises those are real things that happen at people's sleep when you're sleeping at nighttime and you have unexplained noises and it really starts to mess with you and then you think someone's in your house that all provides for a lot of humor within here i think they they touch upon very natural things that happen when someone's sleeping and at nighttime they have jokes that you know made me laugh and then you have some fun adventures that makes kids laugh as well but this is kind of like your typical charlie kaufman you have some very intriguing deeper themes in here that play alongside some light heart moments throughout this film but when you compare it to other dreamworks animation films like home and b movie and the madagascar films this is much deeper compared to all of those films like i said it feels like more like inside out but with dreams for pixar i think this film would have worked side along pixar very nicely but it is a decent dreamworks animated film one that i do recommend especially on netflix a lot of people should be able to check this out at home so before I give you my score for Orion in the Dark on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Orion and the Dark a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Orion in the Dark on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? Let me know what you thought about the film in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy too.